Oh, excuse me. Shut up. What up, biatch? My name is Doak, and there is a snowstorm outside. Okay, at least according to my phone, there is a snowstorm outside. Also, look at all these temperatures that are coming. Because of this weather inconvenience, I made the decision that I will do something what I wanted to do for quite some time. Actually, since the video with a toilet brush. Yeah, that was a... That was a lot of fun and a lot of you below that video suggested that I definitely have to do the same thing with a toothbrush. Well, that's what I'm gonna do today. Except I decided to level up a little and do a painting with an electric brush only. Let's do this. Specifically because of this project, I bought a brand new electric toothbrush. And yeah, if you ask me why there is this frozen character on the brush, it's because this brush is from a kid's edition. Um, why is that? Well, because these brushes were the cheapest ones. Yeah, I actually bought the cheapest brush on the market. It's been like 15 euros. Well. I didn't want to buy a 100 euro brush just for a video. Although the number of rotations per minute may affect the painting. Hmm. Okay, uh, this project might sound totally crazy. However, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense because this is a brush after all. Although there is this big difference that the tip of the brush looks completely different than uh, your normal brushes. And the biggest difference is that this brush vibrates or, or rotates or yeah, yeah it, it rotates. And I have no idea what this is gonna cause on a canvas, so I guess we should try it first. Here is a color, and let's see. This is how it works when it's not turned on. And to be honest, there is nothing really special about this. Yep, this might work, but right now, Let's try to turn it on. I'm a bit afraid of this. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I was afraid that it's gonna make a big mess all around, but this is not that bad. Look, it's even possible to make really thin lines when it's on. Hmm, this is gonna be fun. But first of all, we need to decide what we are actually painting today. As we are using a toothbrush, I thought that I might Google famous smile. And this is, this is what it finds. Hell yeah. I'm definitely not painting Mona Lisa. Or Tom Cruise. Uh, Jesus Christ, maybe. Or Vincent. Okay, fine, I'll paint the very first picture which means that I'll paint Julia Roberts. So let's Google her smile. Oh, lovely. Okay, I think I've got it. This seems like a pretty good reference for my painting. However, these, these teeth, that's gonna be a disaster. Drawing time!
Portions are on the canvas, so that means that it's time to brush the canvas. Let's do it. that I'm not gonna be keeping the brush on all the time, especially when I do the details. But apart this little mess around, it's actually quite good to do details when the brush is on. Just turn it and yeah. It basically does the painting for you. Sorta. And the brush is actually perfect for mixing of colors. Look. I just posted the, the brush to my Instagram, like a little sneak peek and a random guy wrote me this. gotta say that I use this rotational option more than I thought because that way it's a lot less easier to blend the colors however making a tiny detail in straight lines is a lot easier when the rotation is off Marley, is that you? I've got to say that as I'm getting to the details, it's it's getting super annoying to use this. had a daughter with Bob Marley she would look like this <laughs> anyways guys I finished the painting with electric brush and I have to say that I liked it quite a lot you know if you use the rotations 
at the right spot, it's really useful and you can still achieve details with, with this uh, tip. However, in a bigger scale, like if I picked a lot bigger canvas, there wouldn't be really anything to complain about with the brush, toothbrush. And I have a one more announcement before the final result. In the beginning of this year, I told you that I'm planning to release memberships for this channel and well, they are already released. If you click the join button below this video, you're gonna find there a video explaining everything you need to know. Maybe I could mention a few things. You can get a review of your art by me, if you want to. You can get some discounts for my eShop. You can also get a tag on a wall made by me. But you need to be a legend for that though. <laughs> yeah, click the join button, all the information is over there. Okay, and hit that like if you like this. This is it. Time to f but I maybe might explode. If you and I forgot. <clears throat> Enjoy. <laughs>